Hello and welcome to TileIsle.com's training on how to measure square footage. Being able to understand square footage and measure it is very important in tile because not only do we need to know how much tile we're going to need, but we also need to know about the other materials that are based on that, like thin set, grout, and other materials, so that we make sure that we get a good quality job. Now, measuring square footage does require tape measure and a little bit of math, but pretty simple stuff so don't be intimidated by it. So let's get right into it. We're going to look at something that we're not probably going to tile uh, too often in, in real life and that's going to be an exact true square. So when we're looking at a, how to determine square footage in, in our uh, case anyway or square area we're going to be looking at two measurements. and when, basically two sides. For our purposes we're going to call this one side here the length of our side and we're going to call this other side our height. And let's label these so we don't forget uh, what we're talking about here. We're going to call this side our length. Let's get it in black though so we don't confuse. We'll call this our length again and we'll call this other side our height. So we get out our tape measure and we measure for our length and we measure for our height. Well, What is the formula once we determine what that is so we know what our square footage is? So square footage is going to equal our length times our height. So what did we determine once we got our tape measure out? Well, we said that uh, we found out that our length was 10 feet. And since we're talking about a perfect square, what's our height going to be? That's right, you math genius, 10 as well. So length times height, so let's come down and do our math. Total square footage, TSF, is going to equal length times height, 10 times 10, and again, all the math geniuses out there, that is 100 square feet. Total square footage, 100 square feet. Simple. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, how this might affect if we have a, a more true shape that we're going to might see in an actual house, probably rectangular of some some sort. Same thing again. We're going to take a look at our length right times what we're calling our height now these could be depth or width whatever they're called we're still measuring the two sides so what are we going to call these let's label them again so we don't forget this is what we're calling our length and let's call this I don't know let's call it 30 we're not doing anything here to scale, we're just trying to understand how square footage works. And our height is going to be, I don't know, let's just call that 15 for ease. So we do our math again, total square foot equals our length times our height. So that'll be 30 times 15. And math geniuses say what? They say 450 square feet easy. Okay, so one more thing before I let you go. Let's take a look at how that might actually work out in a house where we have uh, several different areas that we're going to tile. So let's say that we do have one perfect square. Let's try to get the right shape here. A perfect square as an entryway. Okay, and then off of that entryway Let's say that we have a long kind of skinny hall. And it goes all the way back. Okay, let's move that up a little bit. There we go. So we've got the entryway and a hall that let's say that that opens up into kind of a rectangular uh, kitchen. Uh, but let's say that it kind of goes like that. 
So this is a little bit more true to what we might see in a real house. Okay, so again, let's not get intimidated. Let's break all this into areas. So we're going to call this area 1. We'll call this area 2. And we're going to call this area 3. Okay, so let's write it out so we don't forget. Area 1 equals, let's say our area 2 equals, and then our area 3 equals. Now we just grab our tape measure again and we get right to it. And we've already seen how to do this so we're not intimidated at all. Let's do our um, uh, our entryway. So we come and measure our, we're going to call this the length, and it doesn't really matter, just as long as we're getting the two sides. We'll call that the length, and let's call this one, whoop, let's get that straight. We, and it's important to get things straight. So let's say that we're going to measure that, and we're going to say that's 10 by 10. 10 times 10 and that's going to equal 100 okay and now we're going to measure our uh, area 2 and again length times height so we'll start here length height right to the edge and uh, let's just say, I don't know, that looks to me like maybe 5 times, I don't know, 30. We'll do the X instead of the 5 times 30. And for those who are quick, that's 150. And now the last area that we have to measure is our dining room, kitchen area, whatever we said that that was. And same thing, we're going to measure length times height. And for our purposes, let's say, I don't know, that that's 10, uh, I don't know, 10 by 20. Again, we're not to scale, we're just trying to understand this. And so 10 times 20 equals 200. So now we have, if we're going to use different tile for different areas, we now know which each one of those areas uh, are, are in their individual square footage. But in order to get total square footage, our TSF equals just the simple addition of all of these areas here. So 200 plus 150 is 350 plus another 100 is 450. And that's total square foot for our entire job. And that's how you measure square footage. Very simple stuff. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope you learned. And we'll see you soon.